insects what drive vegan food cravings. It's pretty common knowledge that many plant foods, if not most plant foods, unintentionally contain insects, as life always thrives in an environment that gives life, essentially any food source. If there isn't a worm in your apple, there might have been something wrong with the apple. Perhaps it was sprayed with half a dozen chemicals, herbicides, pesticides. If we take a look at the foods vegans eat frequently and seem to crave, it becomes possible that it might actually be the insects contained in the food that are causing the vegans to have these specific food preferences. The first is peanut butter, containing up to 136 insect parts. And we all know how popular YouTube vegans like Healthy Crazy Cool love their thick, fat, heavy, creamy nut butters. One could speculate that these vegans are craving fat, but we all know vegans are sugar lovers at heart, and consuming copious amounts of nut butter by the spoonful isn't something we see at least in front of the camera, but it's safe to say that every single one of these vegans incorporates nut butters to some degree into their plant-based meal plans. Next up, we have chocolate. And if there is a vegan girl who doesn't eat chocolate, I have yet to find her. One average 4.4 ounce chocolate bar may have up to 74 insect fragments, a most commonly cockroach parts. Makes me wonder, are women craving chocolate or are they craving the nutrients from the insect parts in the chocolate? So much for Freely's chocolate mint smoothie being vegan. Pasta, pasta. The FDA allows up to 225 insect fragments per 225 grams of pasta. Seems like more insects than pasta. I'm starting to think that I have a reasonable theory here as so many of these vegan day of eatings that we have seen in the past finish off the day with a giant bowl of pasta. The most likely answer to these food choices could very well be the presence of insect parts, which is giving them some of the nutrients that they are lacking, that they are craving in their diet. Fourth, we have coffee beans. One cup of coffee has up to 120 insect parts. The FDA approves coffee samples that are less than 10% insect infected. So a coffee drinker could unknowingly consume thousands of insects worth of coffee every single year. Starting to make sense why so many people are able to follow a vegan diet for so long. They're sucking down insects by the gram every day. Raisins are up next, which are known to have up to 10 whole insects per cup. The FDA claiming that insects are perfectly safe to consume for human health. And I don't disagree with that, but what else could they really say? This applies to all dried fruit in general, especially dates, which have lots of insects inside, as you could see by this picture with all the tiny brown dots. Vegans are known for making smoothies with dozens and dozens of dates, and we see them eating them whole by the dozen as well, even dipping them in nut butters for their nice dose of insects every single day. For number six, we have mushrooms. One 3.4 ounce can of mushrooms can contain up to 19 maggots and 74 mites. The FDA claiming that there is plenty of nutritional value in these insects. I can't make this up. Every single vegan loves mushrooms and eats them just about every single day, calling them meaty when I guess they should be calling them like anti or insecty or perhaps maggoty. Frozen broccoli and likely other frozen vegetables contain aphids, very tiny bugs, up to 60 of these per 100 grams of frozen broccoli. Imagine how many insects these vegans are eating in their giant veggie and fruit smoothies. Probably hundreds and hundreds of insects per day. Canned tomatoes also contain flies as well as fly eggs and are a fairly popular addition to many vegan pasta dishes, and they usually add tomato sauce to their beans, legumes, whatever they're having. 
For number nine, we have black pepper, which we see vegans cracking on their avocado toast like they want to burn their tongue off. There can be up to 475 bug parts per 50 grams of pepper. Are we actually using black pepper or are we just grinding up ants onto our food? Cinnamon is another seasoning that is very high in insect parts. And what would vegans do if they can't make everything taste like dessert? Finally, we have berries. The FDA allowing up to four larvae or 10 whole insects per pound of berries. So keep sucking down those maggots, my green boys and girls, because it's very clear and apparent that vegans love insects. We can break down just about every single vegan day of eating and realize that all of these popular vegan foods contain the highest amount of insects. So much for not needing animal nutrition. Thank you boys and girls for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out some of the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, providing you with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com to get 100% grass fed and grass finished beef, wagyu, pastured pork, chicken, organ meats, raw cheeses, fish roe, caviar. You can also check out frankiesnaturals.com for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products if you want to look like a Roman statue on the inside and out. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.